Hello and welcome everyone to this short video on pie and donut chart. Amongst the various visualization of Power BI, you have two icons, one for pie, the other for donut. Now this is comparatively an easier chart to build. So let's begin. So in our video, we will specifically talk about few formatting settings of pie and donut. One of them is data labels. The other is how do you change the inner radius of this donut chart. So let's begin our exercise. We will be using segment to define our pie slices. Your sales could be coming from the segment consumer, corporate or home office. Next, we will change the charts based on the year slicer. So I'm moving to the practice sheet where I already have a sample donut chart. So let me make one which looks like this. I click on the white canvas area and then I activate the donut chart. Next, I expand this area. Next, I'll just pause and make you watch all these field items from the donut chart because that's exactly what we'll be using right away. First, I throw the sales inside the values. Next, I look for segment, which I drag and drop on to the donut chart and I can automatically see it being placed under legends. So legend is that item which allows you to have different colors under the donut or pie chart. However, I am not happy with the data labels, the size, maybe the format and the completeness. So then I go to format. I look for the data labels option. I click on the drop down. In the label style, I choose all detail labels. Next, I go to display unit and I choose to use thousands. You can also choose millions if your numbers are really big. But for now, I'll choose thousands. Next, I'll keep the value decimal place to zero in both the absolute terms and also in the percentage terms. I'll increase the text size so that's easier for us to read. Next, I will look for the legends heading. So within the legends, I have the option to choose the placement and convert it to top center. Noticed? Next, I simply write radius and I get an option called inner radius. This I'm going to reduce a bit and see the reaction on the screen. Say so notice earlier the radius was pretty big. Now it's pretty small. You can turn it back to a normal state and that's all about donut chart. Well, most of the settings that you saw are equally applicable to pie chart. So if you wish to convert this into a pie chart, all you have to do is click on the pie chart visual and this entire thing will turn into a pie chart. Of course, I will strongly encourage that you also explore other settings of pie and donut, such as data colors, which will allow you to change colors or maybe activate border. Same way you have for slicer. So friends, this was a short and quick video on pie and donut. 